Hi everyone, it's Andy T here again. I thought I'd bring you the latest of my builds. It's the FA330 or Eye in the Sky. It was also known as the Wagtail, um, but the Germans used it as a flying crow's nest. The reason for this was that it was launched from U-boats um, and because U-boat conning towers were so low in the water they couldn't get a very good a long distance view of anything coming up over the horizon. So the idea was to launch the wagtail and that could uh, go up to about 400 feet allowing the pilot to see about 25 miles. He would report down via, to the deck via telephone and the winch would then pull him back down and they could go off and stow the wagtail back in its stowage bins. The stowage bins are watertight compartments outside the main pressure hull. Two vertical bins and one horizontal bin. The horizontal bin has the, the winch inside and the, vertical, the two vertical bins house the actual gyro kite. Because this rotor kite was towed behind the U-boat, it gave it the ability to have an increased range, vision range. But um, it was abandoned due to the amount of time it would take to actually uh, recover it and the pilot. Here you can see them unpacking the bins uh, with the kite and once the kite's been unpacked it's then assembled. The bin lids are shut and Everything is then lifted back up on top of the bin lids uh, once it's been reassembled. At this point, the pilot gets in and operates the joystick so he can actually get the, uh, the rotors in the right position and all lined up. Once they're happy that everything's good to go, then they can get the rotors going at the moment you can see they're tied down and uh, once the rotors are strained and, uh, and put right then they can uh, launch it um, and uh, here we go here's the so this is the the launch and there it goes up 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 and as you can see it soon gets up to quite a height. Once the reports have been made then the gyro kite can be pulled back in and that's done simply as it comes back in the gyro kite will descend. All the time it's pulling against the winch so it's the it's the winch that actually pulls it down to the point where it gets within the arms reach of the handlers and the handlers then guide it down to the last point uh, and then they lash it down um, to disassemble it and put it uh, uh, it, it, it back to bed so to speak. So from a pilot safety point of view there was a, an emergency procedure uh, which meant that the pilot could jettison the blades in the rotor hub uh, if something um, if say another submarine kind of popped up all of a sudden um, and this then automatically opened the parachute and which is attached to both the machine and the pilot. The pilot then released his safety belt and the aircraft then dropped into the sea leaving the pilot descending alone by parachute. Now one wonders at this point whether the submarine may have just left him there <laughs> and hopefully came back and pick him up a few hours later. Um, it, it, but I, I can see that this was a, a bit of a one-way ticket for the poor for the poor pilot. So the kit is a 132nd scale kit. Uh, it's made by Fly and the, uh, the kit is a little bit fiddly, it's fair to say. 
and the photo it's only down to the photo actually really um, but the, there is also a polyurethane block um, which has the various um, parts for the rotor head and uh, tiny tiny bits uh, for gear wheels etc so once that was assembled I then primed it up and uh, then it came the point of actually uh, putting the photo etch onto the rotor blades for rigging now this is not as easy as you might think so I had to come up with some sort of other solution now as you can see on the red ring um, this tiny tiny piece of photo etch uh, needs to have three attachments uh, and I realized that this was going to be near impossible uh, with the uh, photo etch as it was stood so what I decided to do was to create a wire ring and this I did by taking a very fine wire bending it over a, uh, a 0.75 mil drill bit and then um, uh, I'm twisting it out until I formed the eye I then drilled the middle of the photo etch and then what I was able to do is then push it through at this point so that it for forms an anchor point uh, for the rigging later on to get the blade pitch right it's better to assemble the rotor blades and the head upside down this way you get the right droop on the on the blades um, but you don't want them drooping too far down is um, is the secret but I also drilled out this point here where the arrow is pointing uh, so that I could actually pass my rigging wire through and there is a, a tiny pinprick there for you to to show you where to drill and here it is here's the uh, assemble fully assembled FA330 and uh, I've um, made this and I'm donating it to the helicopter museum in Western Supermare so thanks ever so much for watching and we'll see you soon